Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exo Zero's content. Today's video, I'm going to discuss non FC heroes which are very underrated in our game. These are heroes that you can start with and invest resources on. They can also be used even if you have better heroes with Fate Course. But before that, if you want to see more Exo Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, let's start off with Kaya. So Kaya is a rare hero. So she is easily, um, you can easily get her in the game. So let's check out her skills. So um, anyway for Kaya, she has, um, she is actually good rather because of her S1 and S2 skills. So for her S1, it's a heal all allies of 41% of own maximum health cleanses all debuffs and damage over time uh, effects of all allies so the next one for s2 it's heart song so heals all all allies by 83 percent of own maximum health cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effects of all allies so kaya is a very good support hero i've used her in some of the content in some of the, some of the chapters i've used her as well in um uh you pierce labyrinth um, her passive is is first aid three. It's actually your your usual first aid uh, passive. So grants heal of 100% of attack to an ally if they take damage and their health drops to 20%. So gain mana if the caster caster's health is at 20% or less when triggered, and gain mana if the caster's health is at 70% or more when triggered. So with um, with these heroes that you don't have an FC yet or a fit core, you can actually enhance them with their unleashed potential. So so far for Kaya, I've, I've unleashed her potential, so all of it to increase her stats, to increase her her skills. If you have these heroes and if you plan to unleash them, you can. Um, they're good heroes. You can still bring them up until you have good heroes already. So, by the way, um, before before you use unleash, you'll be, you'll be able, you should be able to spend 300 zest so that you could unlock this one. So our next one would be Astarte here. So Astarte is one of the one of the most underrated heroes that I've seen. I've seen how she can deal high amounts of damage um, when I was starting. I, I didn't use her actually in, um, in, in my own team, but I've seen others really use her and uh, have her deal a lot of damage. So let's check out her skills. So for her passive, so it's just counter two. So counters upon taking damage, gain one mana if target dies. But her A, uh, sorry, your her S1, so deals 420% damage to one enemy. So nothing special there. It's just a high, a high damage S1. But her S2 is one of the highest burst damages that I have ever seen. So deals 840 damage to one enemy. It's a burst skill. So for those who don't know what burst is, um, the excess mana of your required mana cost would be added to the damage dealt to the target so if you have six up to ten so this skill will consume it all and it would create bigger damage so that is why astarte um is very is very good in single high damage uh, attacks to kill targets because of this skill um you can still use her in some of the content even if you have good uh, other good heroes because she has one of the highest damages for a burst s2 our next is mirti so mirti i've seen others uh, use her i haven't um, used her but i've seen how she's being used in terms of her skill and this one you can really use up to the current state of the game because but before that i'll i'll get you through her passive first so upon taking damage so she has thrust deals damage 30 percent to two and afflicts stun on the attacker for five turns when the skill hits her s1 
is deals 125 damage to one enemy afflicts target with shock for four turns so this is actually good in, in disabling single target opponents she is actually good in non pvp content um especially in cha the chapters you can use her in clearing mobs uh, mobs that are very hard hitting and her s2 is the one that i'm talking about so deals 85 percent damage to all enemies so status affects targets with shock for four turns so i've tried to look at other characters i think she's she's the only one that deals shock or afflicts shock to all enemies most of the characters in the game that deal shock or afflict shock only uh, gives it to the back row so for her she deals shock or afflicts shock to all of the enemies on the other side so this is what makes her very good our next is Kirina so Kirina I used to use her um, before I got uh, FC Deva so she has she is actually good in your holy dragon grounds to deal big damage she can still be used up to now if you opt to use her instead of uh, fc deva so let's take a look at her skills so for her passive so finishing blow two so attacks if an enemy take takes damage and its health drops to 10 percent or less gain one mana if target survives so this is why you bring her in the dragon so dragon hunter blessing increases damage dealt to dragons with the dragon scale of chaos activated by 250 percent self decreases damage from raging breath by 70 percent so can't apply with head dragon knight effect over time decreases the enhanced dragon fang effect used by the dragon of chaos by 20 percent so this is what the reason why you bring her in the holy dragon grounds um, versus the dragon so let's take a look at her s1 so her s1 deals 180 damage to the enemy so the turn resets if the target dies so you use this skill in clearing out mobs and her s2 is deals 840 percent damage to one enemy so requires mana of five so again if you don't have fc deva and um, you are struggling the dragon you might as well bring her because she has helped me a lot before when i was starting out in the game our last hero is grisel so grisel's kit is a bit is a bit of a, a specialist kit um i have used her in the past uh, because of one of her skills so let's let's take a look at her skills so for her passive so she is somehow similar to garf but she has only protect two so shares health on ally with the lowest maximum health and heals their health by 30 percent of the caster's current health at the beginning of the round can't be removed so gain gain mana one mana if health of a target is 20 percent or less so she has shelter investigator four increases damage by 200 against monomos with nature barrier so her s1 is grants a barrier of 18 percent of own maximum health to the all back allies for 10 turns and her s2 is one of the most unique skills in the game i think she has only she has this one currently so deals 300 percent damage to one enemy afflicts target with blind for six turns so blind is when your enemy has blind they cannot deal damage to you no matter how much you attack them and that's for six turns so you spam this skill to uh, a enemy which you want to disable she can be a good specialist in disabling a specific hero which which deals a lot of damage and yet they cannot deal damage anymore because of their their blind just my final thoughts on this one so for all of the the five non fc units that i've mentioned try to try to make sure that you unleash their potential if you can okay so you can use them 
up until embodiment of avarice even if you have good units already and you can still use them in some of the challenges so don't be afraid to invest resources in them and try to level them up so that is it for me guys that concludes everything if you have any comments suggestions or any thoughts on what i just discussed please put them in the comments below you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video Pardon out.